In this video I will show you how we can create scrolling texture using shader graph. So as you can see on the screen this is the scrolling texture um, I'll be using in this, uh, in this tutorial and this is the effect we're gonna achieve. So I have created the empty Unity project and I have imported my texture which I will use in this tutorial. This is the texture. You can use any texture you like, it doesn't really matter, you can scroll it, scroll any texture. It just happened I have this texture available right now, so I'm gonna use it. So first thing we need to do, we need to import the shader graph package. So let's go to the window, package manager, and make sure you are selecting the Unity registry. And let's share, search for the sh sh shader and find the shader graph. So I have this package already installed, but if, if you don't, uh, let's hit the install button right in the bottom corner and import the package into inside your project. So once this is done, you can close this window and uh, let's go back to the project window. I'm going to hit the asset and create the new folder and I will just call it shaders. Shaders, let's go inside the shaders folder, right click, create. And now you should see the shader graph and let's select the blank shader graph. I will call the shader to be scrolling texture. Scrolling texture. Let's double click on the shader and open. So you should see this window with the uh, space, uh, vertex and the fragment shader output. So first thing we will add is uh, we're going to add the input variable. So for this shader, we're going to add one input. Let's hit the small plus here and select the float. And this is going to be the scrolling speed. So this is going to be the speed, how fast we want, we want our texture to scroll. Let's select the scroll speed. And inside the graph inspector, you will see some um, some properties for this uh, floating value. So I'm going to set the default value to be 0 0.5. I'm going to make some more space for me. And now let's grab our scroll speed and drop it somewhere in the canvas. Then I'm going to grab this end node for the scroll speed and I'm going to extend it. And we need to multiply the scroll speed by the time. So let's uh, search for the multiply. Multiply. Um, gonna select this A because we wanna have the scroll speed connected to A node. And let's grab the B node and extend it. And let's uh, let's search for the time time okay so we're gonna multiply our scroll speed by the time we can hide the preview okay so let's grab our out node so the result of it we're gonna store it in the vector 2 because this is gonna be our offset so let's search for the vector 2 And we can uh, plug into the X or Y value. If you want your texture to scroll on the X axis, just uh, keep it on the X. You can also switch it and uh, scroll your texture by the Y. So we're gonna scroll from the top to bottom, if you like. So this is your choice. You can change it later. I'm gonna move it to the side a bit. Let's grab the out node. And uh, we wanna search for the tiling and offset. Tiling and offset. Okay, so we have our uh, vector to connect it to the offset, and we have um, default values. We're gonna leave it like that. The tiling will be one by one. You can change the tiling if you like later. Uh, so I'm gonna keep all of the default values, and let's grab our out node. And now let's drop it. Let's search for the sample texture 2D. Okay, so this is the node. I'm gonna select that node and as you see our out node is connected to the UV and uh, we need to select our texture so um, I'm gonna hit the small dot here and I'm gonna select my texture which is the game background 
okay and now let's uh, actually move the vertex and the fragment shader here and now we want to add one node to the vertex shader so I'm gonna select the vertex and hit spacebar and select position and I'm gonna leave it uh, the default value as it is and inside the fragment shader I'm gonna select the fragment hit spacebar and let's search for the base color base color once you see this, once you uh, add the base color in you will see uh, in the preview that our uh, shader is pink because uh, there is nothing currently set to the base color so let's grab our rgba node and connect it to the base color okay so as you see there's nothing really happened uh, we still have the uh, pink color on the in the preview but uh, to fix this let's go to the graphic settings in the graph inspector and in the active targets let's hit the small plus and select built-in so once you select this you will you will have um, uh, all of the settings for the material and you can play with the settings if you like as you see the fragment has been populated with some uh, other settings which you can adjust as well as the vertex shader so in the preview you can see our scrolling texture is moving the material is uh, is set properly so let's hit this save button now uh, save asset and our shader should be saved so now let's apply the shader into into the game object so I'm gonna switch to the scene tab and uh, let's uh, add the let's first of all actually create the material so inside my shader folder I will right click create and then material from the material from the shader I'm gonna hit this um, list and let's go to the shader graph and we, you, sh you should see the scrolling texture material uh, uh, the scrolling texture shader we have just added so I'm gonna select that and as you see our material is created we can see the preview so that looks correct so now let's add the quad to our scene so right click in the in the hierarchy 3d and then quad I'm gonna switch to the 2d view so we can see the quad and let's uh, extend it to I will put the value 29 and then 11 so that's gonna be it and then inside the material list let's instead of using the default material we're gonna grab our new material we have added and drop it here so as you see our texture is is in and is moving although inside the scene it's not gonna be very smooth but when as soon as you hit play the movement will be very smooth so let's hit play and as you see the the texture is scrolling uh, I think the position for the quad is, uh, should be a bit uh, up and the scrolling speed is too quick so let's stop the project uh, let's go back to the scene select our quad and inside the shader if you go to the shader you can change the scroll speed so I'm gonna set the scroll speed to be 0 0.1 and also let's move the, the the Y position by 1 okay let's hit play and let's see how everything looks so this is already much better uh, I think you can manipulate this value uh, during the in the play mode as well for the for the scroll speed so we can adjust the scroll speed speed however you like so as you see you can play up play out with the with the value I think 0 0.1 looks the best for me so this is how we can create the scrolling texture if you want to scroll the texture on the y-axis you can easily change that as well uh, if you go back to our shader and uh, as I mentioned you before instead of connecting our multiply value to the x we can change it and connect the out to the y and delete this connection and if you hit the save asset 
switch back to the scene, as you see our texture will scroll from the top to bottom. And this is uh, the same, you can change the scroll speed if you like and the texture should scroll, scroll across. So this is how we can create the scrolling texture inside the Unity. Hopefully the tutorial was helpful. Um, if you like this uh, video, please consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like. And I will see you again in the next video.